guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jen and this is part two of my health boost and pain relief recipe videos. So the previous video, which I'll link in the description down below, we made recipes involving chia seeds and today's video we're going to be using the spice turmeric. I've got three recipes we're going to look at, so let's head over to the kitchen and start cooking. <music> delicious looking turmeric spice pancakes. I have to tell you these smell fantastic. Like even if I don't like the taste, which I'm sure I will, I think I'll make them again just because they smell so good. Um, while they cool for a sec, I will let you know there are a couple of things I changed. Um, I didn't have, the recipe calls for oat flour, which I don't have, um, so I just used regular flour. I also don't have pure maple syrup because that stuff's really expensive and most recipes I've seen say that you can use syrup or raw honey so I used raw honey instead and also um, there's a few different spices that it calls for there's the turmeric obviously and then cinnamon and ginger I slimmed down on the spice measurements just a little um, I am a little nervous about this. I actually have really, really terrible acid reflux, and cinnamon especially is one of the things that just kills me. So I kept the amount of turmeric since that's the point of this recipe, but I trimmed down the others just a little bit just to be on the safe side. Um, but it smells really good, so I'm sure that it's still going to taste really good. This recipe also made way more pancakes than this. I think... I don't know, I haven't made them all yet because I wanted to eat these while they were warm still, but I think it's probably gonna make about three or four more pancakes of this size, and these are pretty big. Yeah, they, I thought I spread them out pretty flat, but they're pretty fluffy. These look so good. Yeah, I think these are really good. There is a little bit of the spiciness to it, but it's not too much. It's kind of like any, you know, in fall, any kind of pumpkin spice recipe or anything like that, just with not so much of the pumpkin flavor, but I think these would be really good, honestly, for fall. They're orange like pumpkin, and they've got that nice spicy kick to it. These are definitely really good. I think I might either make them next time in a smaller batch or just make a bunch ahead and freeze them, which I do a lot when I make pancake batter because um, these are a lot fluffier than I expected them to be. So I probably won't be able to finish both of these, but they're really good for something different. I'm also actually more of a waffle person than pancakes, so I think it'd be really interesting to try and make these as waffles sometimes. I think that would be really good. Okay, so for our next recipe, we are going to be making a turmeric tonic, um, which is supposed to help reduce inflammation and pain more quickly than maybe just adding a little bit of turmeric to an everyday recipe. So this is actually kind of perfect, because if this works, uh, maybe this will help me today, because my pain levels are a little bit higher than normal. 
but we're gonna go ahead and try this. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. This recipe, it's really basic to make, but it's just water, which I've got here, orange juice, a little bit of honey, and some spices. So this might taste a little interesting. So I'll go ahead and get started and we'll see how we do. tonic here. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't smell too bad. I did not mention earlier, as usual, I went ahead and have this in case it's really gross. I also went really, really light on the black pepper because that just, that makes me nervous. So if this is good, I'll go back and look at the recipe and make sure I actually put the correct amount amount of everything in. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that, that smells like watery spices. This is gonna be fun. Okay, it's, it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> um, the orange juice helped a lot, so that is good. Um, I can definitely taste the pepper. I I don't really know what that does, so I might have to leave it out next time. That There's only half an orange's worth of orange juice in here. Maybe if I put the other half in, that'll be better. I don't know. I'm somebody that... I, I don't know if I could just sit here and drink this. I don't know if... If the possibility of this lessening my pain is worth going through the pain of <laughs> drinking an entire glass of this. It's fine in small sips, but... It kind of tastes like... Like old potpourri. If you... <laughs> If you put orange flavoring in a basket of vaguely spiced nothing, oh, that's what it smells like and that's what it tastes like. Okay, um, I'm gonna get that other orange. We're gonna see if we can, if I can fix this, because I really want to see if this could be helpful. Let's try some more orange juice. Try not to make a mess, which I'm doing anyway. This is why I time-lapsed this earlier. I'm squeezing it really slowly. I don't have a juicer or anything and I didn't want to just spray orange juice everywhere so I'm squeezing really really slowly. That's not all of the juice, but we'll, we'll see if that makes a difference. Okay, take 
too. Oh, that's better. That's a lot better, actually. Okay, so the recipe says for the full recipe to use two cups of water and one orange. So I used half or one cup of water and half an orange. But I would say one cup of water and one whole orange is a lot the ratio that seems a lot better. Okay, so this might take a while, but I'm going to drink all of this in the interest of seeing if this is really a tonic that could help suppress pain and inflammation. It seems like I might have to stir it up quite a bit. So I will drink all of this and wait a little bit and see and report back and see if I am managing my pain any better after drinking this. So be back soon. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours, about three-ish, and I was, I confess, I was not able to make it through that entire drink. Something about just the pepper and the spices, the taste of it kind of triggered my gag reflex, and I just couldn't get the whole thing down. So I drank about half of it, which was still a pretty good amount, and... I, I mean, I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm not sure if that's just because the day's gone on and I've eaten and gotten some rest, or the power of suggestion <laughs> if I just really wanted it to work so I'm feeling better, or maybe it did. I'm not really sure, and I've been trying to, besides making these recipes, I've been trying to include more ginger and turmeric into the into food that I eat normally, so I don't know if maybe it's a combination of all those things, but whether this tonic kind of worked for me or not, I don't think I would be able to drink it again. I thought about adding some more honey to see if that would make it better, but it wasn't that it was bitter, it was just the aftertaste of the spices, so I, I think that adding sweetener to it might have made it worse it might have just been even more gross so I didn't touch it but I might just try and add turmeric and stuff to other drinks I actually tried the other day at a Panera they have a blood orange lemonade I think is what it's called and it's got orange juice in it like this tonic and but there's turmeric in it too and it tasted really good I really liked it so maybe I can try to find a recipe for something like that or just go there and get that sometimes but I think this is something I'm gonna try to keep adding to my diet but maybe just not drinking it straight in orange juice and water but hopefully I'll have better luck with the next video we're gonna be making hummus so I'm really excited about that once I track down some tahini then I'll be good to go so I'll see you for the next one Okay, so for our last recipe with turmeric, we're going to be making a sweet potato turmeric hummus. I'm really excited. I've tried to make my own hummus before and it's never really worked out. And I think this looks really delicious if you look at the recipe on the website. And I just think it's going to be really fun. It took me a long time to track down some tahini. They have it at Trader Joe's is where I found it. So if you are looking for it, that's where you can get some. Let's just get right into it. I'm super stoked for this.
here we've got our turmeric hummus. I think it looks really good. I got my gigantic bag of tortilla chips here. So this is actually the second batch of this that I made. I made it yesterday and first of all when I went to take the video of me taste testing it I realized afterwards that our heads were cut off for most of it and the sound was just kind of weird so yeah I like it yeah I made hummus <laughs> that there was that and then also I forgot to put the salt in it and I realized that the, pap the paprika that I have is pretty old so it's not as potent so I just decided I would make the rest of this recipe because I um, I made a half recipe as usual in case I didn't like it or it didn't turn out so I decided to make the rest of it today add a little bit more of the spices and then retest it with my head fully in frame got some chips here That was a really big bite. This is really good. I really like it. It's got a little bit of a zesty taste to it, but as I've said before, I don't really like spicy food, so I still went a little bit light on it. But this, I think, would be really great if you like spicy food to add a little bit more to it. It's a little bit chunky still, but I really don't mind. It was actually kind of hard to blend up when I made the recipe yesterday which is the clip that you saw I used my little tiny food processor just because I was making such a small amount it seemed silly to get my big one dirty but that one can't handle very much stuff in it and this starts out so thick at first because you add oil to it as you go you're actually not supposed to add the oil until the end but I had to start adding it as I went because it wasn't even moving in the food processor so today I made this using my big one but this was almost too little and the chunks of the sweet potatoes were just like passing underneath the blade or on top of the blade and all the oil was settling to the bottom so I had to keep opening it up spooning it all down and spreading it around and I think it might actually next time I might try making it with beaters I don't know. I think there's got to be an easier way so that you don't have to keep opening it up and stirring because then what's the point of the food processor? Yeah, I think this has turned out really delicious. I'm really excited about it. I've never successfully made hummus before, so I'm really stoked. I think it would be quite a bit cheaper than buying it in store, especially now that I have the ingredients, the tahini I bought, which I can't show you because I'm using it as a tripod right now. Um, the tahini I bought is from Trader Joe's and I think it was, it might have been four dollars, I'm not sure, but I think it, it might have even been less than that. But this recipe only calls for one tablespoon of it, so you really don't have to use very much of it. I think that'll last for a really long time. So this is something I definitely want to keep doing. I want to try different recipes. I love hummus so much. So I really just want to keep trying out more flavors. I think it's way better than store-bought. Like, even though it's chunky and not quite as smooth, homemade is always better than store-bought. One note of warning, now that I've finished all of these turmeric recipes, turmeric stains. I got a little tiny bit on my countertop the other day. When I wiped it away, it was stained yellow. The silicone mat that I baked the potatoes on the first day, that is stained yellow. The white parts of my food processor that got on the, in on the inside, that is stained yellow. So just be careful. I'm still, 
I'm gonna try to look online and see, see if I can find some ways to get out turmeric stains. But just that's something you should be aware of and be careful with if you're gonna be cooking with it a lot. Okay guys, so those are our turmeric recipes. Let me know if you tried any of them or if you tried any variations of them. I'd love to hear what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time for recipes using gelatin. See ya.